<laughs> How you doing? I'm all right. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. That's good to hear. You in New York, hot New York, or uh, you I'm on the Atlanta. West Coast? I'm in Atlanta. Oh, you're in Atlanta. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for your time. I know we've been trying to get our set schedules in sync, but I appreciate your time today. No, I appreciate you for wanting to talk to me. Of course. Okay. So let's let's just start. We have so many things to talk about, but let's start with the shy. I'm a shy fanatic. My mom is from the South Side of Chicago. Oh, so it resonated strong with me. Um, to see you join that cast was so, so amazing. Um, loved you on Star, and I thought it was kind of like a perfect transition, instead, especially within the TV show world. Yeah. Tell me how you bought Trey to the big screen in such a way that you did, because mm -hmm. he's such a complex character. Mm -hmm. um, he is a strong, proud black man who has a transgender queen on his side who he loves, but also has to maintain a certain status um, within the community. I just feel like you did that character so much justice. Can you tell me how you connected in such a way that I'm like, this has to be a real person. <laughs> um, first, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I had to give you your flowers. I, no, you your flowers. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I really do. Yeah. Um, you know, I, experiences, um, I've got, I've got, you know, I've got friends who have, who have, um, done time. I have a friend I talk to once a month, twice a month, um, that is, that is doing time. And I know somewhat of their lives, life stories, and I know how they are. You know, I know, I know my, um, my interaction with them, uh, obviously I'm not within, in that world, um, personally. Right. But I know my own interaction, and I know how I felt around them, and I know how they how they how they acted and whatnot. In some ways, I'm in some ways I'm I, I I'm using them. You know, I'm paying right. in a way I'm paying homage to their their legacy and and their struggles and and finding themselves in this world and you know after choosing particular paths going down in 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 a sense to uh, for survival right um because right. nobody really wants to do any of this and be this you know everybody wants a real f fulfilling life of harmony but yeah society kind of pushes that up on um pretty much black black men so um, so i, I kind of i pull from those things i pull from I pull from the reality of life and my upbringing and my experiences with my family and my friends and um, and also it's in the writing, you know, um, the writers, uh, Lena, Justin and, and the entire team and also our director, they kind of like, I have what I what I think and um, mm -hmm. and in some ways it's just it's really just written there and, it, yeah. and it's a matter of me just being as honest as possible and not trying to um, Cause I never wanted to be a caricature. You know what I mean? I wanted this, I want him to be a real person, not just like, yeah. you know, the easy gun slinging thug life, pop culture version, right. Of what that is. Cause reality is not like that. They're not like yeah. that, you know? Yeah. So I wanted to, I wanted to play that, that particular character and the, his complexity, uh, complexity, complexities. Um, so many. So many. I mean, but it's so good to see Luke just as you mentioned, you wanted to play, you don't want him to be a character. You, there's this man who is dealing with all these things that life throws at him as a black man, but you're still showing him loving someone, his family, yeah. his little brother. You're still seeing him love his woman. Yeah. Go go on about that, yeah. please. Well, you know, I think that's I think that is that's been my experience. You know, my experience hasn't always, hasn't, my experience, I, I've had, you know, the negatives, I've seen the negative, but I've, I've, majority of men in my life have been strong black men, you know, dealing with the world, you know, as it is. Yeah. Majority of men in my life, you know, I guess it, it seems like it's like, like black men are just all effed up and whatnot, but, yeah. but, but we're, we're not all, we deal with our, our things, but, you know, I just thought it was important it's, and again, it's in the writing, you know, it's, it's, it's important to show that dynamic because we see the other side. We've all, we've seen in different shows and whatnot, we've seen that depicted. We haven't seen the lover. We haven't uh -huh. seen the lover, the guy who, who really doesn't want this. He doesn't want to be big uh -huh. anymore. Uh -huh. He wants his own, his own name. He wants to 
give back to a community that's given him so much and that he's taken so much from. Yes. Um, you know, and, and, and he's in love. And we, Black men, we like to be in love too, you know? So I think yes. it's just important to show that. And we want the best for our family, especially yes. with our little brothers. You know, we don't want, I, I, I don't want the worst for him. And I don't want him to experience none of my life. And if I can do right. whatever I can do to, to help him avoid that, then I think that's who Trig is. I think that's his, his goal is to take as much damage as he can so far that his own family and the ones he loves that doesn't have to ever feel that, you know? And yes. um, I think it's just beautiful how they've, they've written that. It's in the story. I, honestly, it's not, it's, I, I'm just, I just come. It is, from, you have to give yourself some credit. It's in the writing. It was thank incredibly you. written, but you have to give yourself some credit. No, I take it. I receive it. I receive it. <laughs> simple. Um, you actually made a post on Instagram, which I wanted to talk to you about about how the art that you create and a lot of the times the art that those around you create uh, disrupts the, the status quo, disrupts the norm. Mm -hmm. And relating that to the shy and even relating that to uh, thoughts of a black man, which I can't wait to talk about next. Yeah. Um, I thought that's so important. Just as a, a visual artist myself, I completely agree with using art as a term to uh, form to disrupt the status quo, yeah. um, to bring knowledge and to bring light on things that normally aren't shined light on. Yeah. Um, so tell, tell me about that. I mean, what did you really mean by you want your art to, to disrupt? Well, you know, as I, as I do my research and my own, you know, when I read things of, you know, passages of James Baldwin and Toni Morrison and and, 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 you know, people like that, you know, they, you know, they weren't trying to be cookie cutter. They weren't trying to be pretty Dick Gregory. They weren't trying to fit in. They, they understood the assignment in a sense that this is not, this, this is not a good, safe, pleasant world we are in. And am I going to be like everyone else in a sense? I think it's just more crazy to ignore it and to act like it isn't there. And as an artist, you know, like Marvin and like so many other artists, you know, you, you, you can't help but to, if you're an artist, you feel everything and yeah. you, you can't, you know, it, it's hard to not say something. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think that, you know, I think it's just important that we, um, we as artists uh, continue to um, shine light on those things that really may, mean the most to us. I mean, these, these are our lives though, you know, I can make a lot of money and in some ways I can, put myself, on, myself up on some type of mountain where I feel like I don't ever feel the things that someone who doesn't do what I do feel. Right, right. But then again, what, what, what kind of life is that? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I politic with the people. I like to break bread with the people. I want to go party with the people. And if I can't, if I f I'm an empath in a sense, I feel everything. And I can't, I can't live my life like that. So for me, it's important to join uh, other other artists and and helping to tell stories and my own art telling some some stories and, and and shining a light on the things that mean the most to me that and hopefully that will shake the world into a better place i know it won't change completely but at least it's um it's me throwing my hammer in the game you know so absolutely well That's i want to uh say we appreciate you I kind of think of you just the way you use your art to disrupt as the Marvin Gaye's, as the Billy Holidays, as the Nina Simone. So keep, please keep doing that. Cause for, I feel like, especially for black artists, for them to be able to feel what their other black brothers and sisters are going through and put that in their music in such a way that you guys do. Yeah. I couldn't ask for more. So just want, just want to thank you for that. Uh, one more question won't take up more of your oh, time. I'm here. <laughs> I appreciate you being here. Um, thoughts of a black man. Mm -hmm. Please, please tell me. Please tell me. We're very excited about that. Broadway, Luke James, and Broadway. Mac Wilds is like a brother to me, so I'm super oh, yeah. excited to see oh, him. Then, we, we're kidding. Oh, we're kidding. Tell, tell yeah. me. Tell me. Are you excited? Are you nervous? Are you feel comfortable? Be because it's with, okay. Tell me. Tell me a little bit. I'm scared as shit. Let me tell you. <laughs> I, you know, Pressure makes you know, diamonds, man. Yeah, yes, I agree. I agree. <laughs> you know, and, um, you know, most of my life, the things that I've, the things that scared me and the, the things that have scared me and scared me so much that I didn't move forward through them 
um, um, I didn't follow through with, uh, okay. I, I, f- pushes me into a depression. So okay. for me, uh, teetering that line, running through the fire, running towards the fire, doing it scared, makes me a happier person overall. Okay. So, um, so I, I, I manifested this. I, you know, I talked about it. I talked about it and, and said, yeah, I, I want to do Broadway. You know, I want to do some st- a stage show. I, I would love to see what that does and what I would get from that and everything. And then divine intervention happens. And, and manifestation. You know what yes. I mean? I, yes. I call from, from Stephen and, 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 uh, and, um, and uh, Kenan, Kenan Scott second. And, uh, you know, I was just elated to be a part of it. I'm nervous as hell, but I'm excited because, you know, here is another um, another piece of art that helps yeah. uh, shine a light on the complexity complexi- complexities yeah. of Black people, of yeah. Black men. You know, we're all not the same. Um, we all look at, this, look at one thing and have all these different views. Mm-hmm. And um, we're human. We feel, we so cry, cool. we, 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 we have joy, we have sorrow. Um, we have things, you know, though we may be, we may walk with a cool little walk. we got a, a particular, you know, vibe about us that everybody just wants a piece of. Yes. I don't understand that vibe. What, crea- what creates that vibe is what, mm-hmm. is what we get to find out. What we get to see in yeah. such a show like this, yes. you know, what, what so. makes different, these different black men tick and which I'm excited to be a part of. I mean, we're making history. You, you know, are. I mean, it's it's just all black, black everything. Yes. So, you know, and, and, you know, it's a great vibration. I'm hoping that everybody really, you know, turns out this is Broadway. This is us. It's Broadway. It's big. Look, it's big. And we just want to give you your flowers on that. Broadway is huge. And I mean, seeing you from it's a star where you got to use your, you know, musical ability and acting. And you're going to do that again on Broadway. I want to mm-hmm. leave you with this. Um, I saw on Twitter when I reposted it, my guy, like three of my guy friends responded to it and said, this is the only Broadway show they would ever go to. So I really want to say that you guys are making history um, to be able, like you said, to dive into a, um, a theatrical piece that's uh, centered around Black men and how they think and get into their heads. That is huge. Yeah. So I just want, I'm, we're very excited. Um, yeah. We want to give you all your flowers. You're going to kill it. Nerves. Pressure makes diamonds. Hey, I, I pressure it. myself and I end up yeah, you are a diamond. The part. I, you are a dime. I'm looking right at you. you. <laughs> thank you, Lou. Thank you. Thank you. Thank so you. Thank you. I shot this camera. I'm blessed you. Yeah. Listen, listen, we wanted to give you your flowers. Broadway is huge. And I talked to Mac. He's just as nervous. But you guys are so talented, both musically and theatrically. Three, theatrically. Yeah. Um, you're going to blow it off the park. And that's exactly what Broadway is. And I'm excited to see so many Black faces, young Black male faces yeah. on Broadway. And it's going to open up so many doors, you know, to make, you know, Black men especially feel comfortable to go see a play, feel comfortable yeah. to spend the money, you know, and go on Broadway and treat yourself and do that for yourself. This and is ours. You yes. can see us in our, in our, in our most glorious and all yeah. our facets. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. We can do everything. Sport, we, sports, theater, uh, poetry, music, it, it's endless. politics, I yes. mean, science, we are, we can do everything. We've done everything, it you know, I think it's just, I think everyone just needed to just, just support, see everything, yes. you know? Yes. Well, I know you're going to have all the support. I know I'm going to buy a bunch of tickets, have my mama and them, my brother and them, pull up. and everybody pull up. Um, yeah. We just want to, like you said, give you your flowers. That's all I got for you today. I want to let you go and enjoy the rest of your day. No, but um, we wanted to give you your flowers and say, like, congratulations. The Shy, like I said, I'm a fanatic, so I'm kind of biased. But The Shy is, like, honestly my favorite show on TV. Um, not biased because of you, but not biased because my mom, but it is what it is. But that's love, um, that's love. You, killed, think- you killed your role, man. Trig was one of my favorite, favorite characters on that show. So I want to give you your flowers with that. I want to give you your flowers with the social content that you put out really kind of shaking up the table, which yeah. is what we need, especially from black male artists. And of course, Broadway, man. Broadway is huge. And I want you to really take it in. I am. I'm receiving everything you're saying right now. I'm just Okay. All right. As long as you are, sending the vibrations that way. Yeah. <laughs> I, thank, thank you. I, I, this means a lot. And, and uh, 
thank you. I'm grateful to be talking to you about it. Oh, no. Uh, the pleasure is all mine. Have a great day. Um, we'll, we'll be tagging you and everything after Please. the interview, after we cut I'll it up and edit it. But... And all, all right. <laughs> all right. Have well. a great day. Thank you again. Keep shining. I'll be watching. Oh. So, you know. <laughs> all right. Later. Take care. Have a good day.